Hello guys and welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how you can write a code for calculating moving average or rolling mean over the past data. So first of all we have to design a sliding window function. The sliding window function will be used to segment the data into sections for finding sliding mean or moving average. To do so first we have to find the shape of the data. So here I am only getting the value of the shape not the whole array and then subtracting the window size which will be given by the user and to keep the last entry I have added one here next we have to find the strides next we have to find the strides strides can be considered as a step so To get the section, we are going to use a built-in function available in NumPy library, which is at the end we have to return the window. Next we have to calculate the moving average. So for that first we have to calculate the average of the whole data. To avoid the overwriting we have to save the data in separate array. Rolling mean can be calculated by sliding the window over the data and calculating the mean using numpy library we have to give window size as an input here so first let's calculate the updated window size which will be and then we have to return this rolling mean or moving average. Let's run an example. Uh, I will use the hard pie example so for that to use this function I have to call this function as well and this these functions are saved in file named as signal extraction dot py here so Let's see what values are stored in the sliding mean. You can see that the sliding mean has only one value and because we have spent given the axis here. So for example I will give the axis one mean if so it will save all the means while sliding the window. So let's save this and rerun the example. Let's recalculate the sliding mean and, and here you can see now we have 14,926 values. Uh, if we want to see some, only 10 values, for example from 100 to 110, so we can see that on average the signal is almost same. So in this way you can write a code to calculate the moving average over the time series data. So if you like this video please share, press the like button, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.